we say that, okay, we have V M. V M is just when uh, V in equal to V out, right? If you look at this graph, you did not really try to understand. I think everyone will just think that V M is V D D over two. That is normal if you think in that way. But unfortunately, that is not, right? Then how do we find the VIL and VIH? In principle, I need to find the uh, slope such, such that it is equal to negative one. Find the point at where the slope is equal to negative one. But that is too much of computation, right? As I said last time, the slope, we, pro we know that it is G is given, right? So then we say, maybe let me just approximate the curve Right, this is the real curve. This is the real one. So I approximate it as this a piecewise curve. And actually, I will feel that the turning point VIH and VIL and VIH are pretty close to this, uh, the point, these two lines meet, right? So how do I find it? Then it becomes easy. First of all, I know that just draw a triangle just use the ratio, right? The slope, uh, I know that uh, VOH minus VM, which is talking about this one, VOH minus VM, right? Divided by uh, VIL minus VM, okay? Must be equal to G, right? Because this one, this part, is VIL minus VM, correct? Is this okay, any questions? Then I already know what is VOH, right? I also know VM, I also know VG. So I do some uh, math. multiply the denominator to the right, and then collect the term for VM. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, VIL. This is VM plus G, VM equal to VIL, right? So VIL, I mean, times G is just equal to VM plus VOH minus VM divided by G. Is this okay? In my cheat sheet, I actually use another sign. I use VM minus VOH divided by G, negative. It is just the same. I just take out the negative sign. Any questions? Now then how, how do I find VIH? Can someone give me an idea? It just use the similar concept. We can work on this triangle. This slope is also G, right? Anyone? Omit. So, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking, <laughs> so is it the VM minus uh, VOH? VO, okay, almost. But we are talking about this triangle. How will you do the subtraction? What is the height of this triangle? The height of that is it VM? Just, just, yes, VM, but, but this is loss zero. So it will be VM minus what? This is VOL. Oh, VOL, okay. Ah, right, right. So instead of VOH, it's VOL. Yeah, very good. And then, how do you find the slope? Should be VM minus, uh, 
V I H. Very good. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. I guess many of you know also, right? Uh, the fans, uh, on me, right, for doing the great job and help me. Otherwise, I, I know my lecture is a little boring. Actually, I got a complaint to last, uh, maybe two, I forgot which semester they said it's a little bit sleepy <laughs> because of the time, also. So, yeah, so so I, I think I need to think a way to make it better. But if you can uh, engage, that will be that will help a lot, right? So no, now, no, professor, yeah. it's it's not not your fault. It's because of online education. Yeah, it's not nice, but, but <laughs> yeah, I think. I, I think you you do you do not need to blame yourself. I think I think uh, you're good. I think the the main problem ninety nine percent is because of online education. Thank you. And uh, because people sitting in front of laptop, you know, it's kind of mentally fall asleep. You you're not watching anything moving. Like in, when you lecture, you see you moving. Sometimes you like draw something. We can have an interaction. But online, you see, or you you just watch a laptop monitor and never moving. You see, it's everyone kind of a little bit fully, fully feeling like a mentally asleep. And that, that's the reason why. Thank you. Yeah. And also because of the time, now it's 3 p.m. So I think <laughs> it's uh, pretty sleepy. Yeah. So, but, but anyway, uh, try to answer my question. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you can, that will help. So what is VIH? VIH is uh, uh, just multiply G denominator to G, right? And then I move VIH to the left, then I have GVM plus VOL minus VM divided by G, right? So eventually I get VM minus VM minus VOL divided by G. Am I right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So so basically this this are the equation, right? Do you need to memorize this equation? Actually, no, you just put in cheat sheet, right? But you you after B term one, you see that actually I really don't need you to memorize too much equation, right? You just need to be reasonable, right? So now uh with this inverter, we know how to find the uh Vm. We know how to find the VIL, VIH, and we already know what is VOH of VO and VOL. So we know the VTC, correct? And that is what we want to learn. But here is that, how about G? We need to find out G, right? So G is a little bit complicated. I will show you how to do that, but we won't go through it because it's not necessary. It's a waste of your time if we do this in the uh, lecture but you can do it yourself at home, okay? 